All right, Leo, it's your turn. It's your season. Um, I hope you all are doing well. Um, I have your cards laid out here. This is a different deck because we recently got this. This is the Witcher's Tarot. And then over on the side, uh, don't mind this, makeup, uh, is your love aspect of your reading. So, overall energy for the month of August. I can't believe it's pretty much coming soon to August, but this is your season. So, uh, congratulations and happy birthday. So, the Wheel of Fortune. I do feel like for the month of August, a lot of um, things are coming together. I do notice on here there's different seasons. So, maybe something that you've been working really hard throughout the year and this year, you know, are things coming together. And I feel like it's put in a lot of time and energy into things. So, things are equally, equally, uh, equalizing out for you this month, especially with it being in your season. You probably feel more better, more refreshed, more to yourself. But we do also have a lot of different energies going on with the planet. Things may seem a little off here and there, but I do feel like you're doing best. Um, Alright, so I'm going to move that over. I like to read the card straight as what it is. So we have the Seven of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, High Priestess, Temperance, Death, and the Hangman, and Justice. So... I do feel like you've been putting a lot of, maybe it's been going on for a few years, you know, you've been putting a lot of time and effort, maybe it didn't something revolving children and family. I do feel like there's a lot of growth, there's a lot of benefits coming to you this month. I do feel like, you know, pretty much you are the queen or king of the zodiac. You know, you're feeling empowered. You've been on this journey by putting things in investments and in. so I do feel like a lot of good investments coming to you um, I do feel like a lot of balance so maybe you took some time out to reflect on bettering yourself in some way maybe there's things regarding money and finances possibly family or children that you know something's ending or coming to a close on something but I do feel like maybe you are in between, between it all, thinking how to balance it out. So the Justice card. So I do feel like things are doubling the balance for you, especially the temperature that is balance um, and the t and Justice. So I feel like on either side, there's a lot of balance. I do feel like if it is a work situation, I do feel like something ended. Um, maybe it got you stuck for a while, but I do feel like the new change, whether it's something regarding work and finance, things are balancing it out, even though there's a death of something. Maybe there was a loss of a loved one, loss of finances, and you, you're you now getting the reaps of your harvest. You know, we're shortly coming into Virgo season shortly after yours, so... I do feel like it, there's this growth I see. There's this investment that you've been getting all the things you put into, um, whether it's relationships, friendships. I do feel like um, with the Scorpio card here, there's a lot of death and rebirth. There's a lot of, you know, maybe there was two things going on, like in a, regarding to your finances where, like, Maybe you had to end a job to start a new job. And I feel like either side brings you the balance. But I feel like it's getting out of the stuck energy. And looking at the growth that you've come. And how far you've come. So I do feel success this month for you guys. I usually do for Leo's. So for Leo season. It is a good time to connect and a good time to reflect on all the good things that you've done in your life. Alright, so this is in regards to love and relationship. I'm trying to think how I want to read it exactly, but pretty much the cards itself. Alright, so... And so again, we have death card here. We have the world card, the sun card, and um, the full card and judgment. 
So I do feel like if you're in a relationship, Leo, um, you could be involved. I was thinking maybe a Gemini, um, a Scorpio, another Leo, fire sign. Um, but in regards to what the cards are saying, I do feel like there's a new beginning for you in the area of love. Whether it's to recap everything that you've been through from this point. I do feel like there's a lot of love in regards to family, children. And that's bringing in a lot of new beginning, new energy. Um, you may have had defeat in the past with this person you've been dealing with. But I think the judgment card is to realign you both into the path that you need to go on. Um, let's see, let's see if I can pick, let's do it this way instead of making it, get a few clarification, because it feels like there's something to clarify here, maybe you need clarification in your relationship, so we're going to pick this card, um, the star card, so you could be dealing with an Aquarius, Justice, maybe a Libra. And the Hermit. So, I do feel like there's... One more. I do feel like there's a lack. Or not a lack, but... There's something in regards to your relationship where there's a power struggle. Or maybe a hiccup with something in regards to this person. Maybe the Aquarius or someone you're dealing with. So... I do feel like you're getting over maybe the heartbreak of something, not having the control that you want, but right here across from the Emperor. So I do feel like it has to do with maybe your voice, maybe being the activist in the regards to your relationship. It's maybe speaking out about the relationship, what needs to close, what needs to be balanced in the relationship. I do feel like, um, also, Leo, let me do this again. <laughs> I wasn't going to, something about you and your, um, uh, potential partner or someone that you're dealing with. Let's see if we can get three cards for them and three cards for you. Just to see. Let's go do this one. Let's move these cards out of the way. I think I kind of clarified on that. If we have to, we'll come back to it. So, um, all right. So this is you and your partner, or you, whoever you're, you're dealing with. So, this is pretty much their energy, not necessarily how they feel about you, but their energy in the relationship and your energy. Um, you could have Gemini placement, possibly. They could have fire in their, maybe their moon sign. Um, I do feel a little, uh, Leo, for them, I do feel like there's a lot of, there's a lot of hidden things that maybe they come across as about you. Like they see, they see things clearly, what's going on. Maybe it's involving other people. Maybe you're seeing this. Um, I do feel like there's conflicting inner energy within them, especially this tower card that needs to be unfold or uncovered. Or maybe you've spoken with this person about something going on internally where maybe it's bringing a lot of confusion in the relationship. But I feel like there needs to be a rebuilding in the relationship how this person's feeling like something needs to change in regards to this connection or regards to them there's a lot of maybe toxicity going on that they're discovering for themselves that they need to get cleared maybe it's a karmic cycle that's ending that's why the tower is here now for yours you got balance the lovers and the high priestess so i feel like you have a strong sense of knowing what you want in this relationship you feel balanced you feel pretty stabled with this person i feel like um but i feel like the eeriness about this is maybe with the high priestess you could be with a pisces um i do feel like there's a need to maybe not 
in some way control them um, or possess them. Maybe there's a feeling that you need to balance it out by possessing them or having some power within them or in the relationship. Um, but I do feel more of a positive energy in some way when it comes with the lover cards and temperance. So you could be with a Sagittarius or Gemini. And like I said, Pisces. Um, I do feel like they bring a lot of balance to your life and they bring a lot of love. And like things are coming together, I feel like, or how I've been coming together. They're, the energies is good. But like I said... With their energy, I feel like it's more about, it feels kind of toxic. Maybe it's more about how they're perceiving you. I do feel like they're, they're unsure about things about you. About toxic entanglements, maybe. Or maybe there's something that needs to be cleared up and rebuilt so I do feel like on their part Leo there's a lot of rebuilding um but yeah I do feel like maybe it's a one thing going on like this is how they're seeing you but this is how you're feeling about them so maybe it's not necessarily on the same page as them but I do feel like there's a need to rebuild things on their part or they're seeing that you need to take the action to rebuild things with them to bring in this balance maybe that's what's going on so i hope that resonates with you and hope you have a good birthday leo and a good season for august bye bye